Now, emotions are very powerful. When one person has a love or a desire or a relationship with another person and that emotion is violated, the person who is violated has a very strong demand that because you had a relationship with me, therefore you should not get away with it, you should also be hurt. And this is wrong, but this is what happens when people are close to each other and one person violates another person, the person who's been violated can demand justice. This reminds me of a story. There was a rabbi who had shown interest in a girl and given her a gold bracelet, but realized it wouldn't work, and he broke it up. But he never asked her forgiveness. And she was jilted. She was angry at him. And because of her anger, when he got married, he couldn't have any children. But neither could she get married. So when, they came, when, when the man came to the Lubavitcher Rebbe, the Rebbe said, you have to ask this girl forgiveness. And I guarantee you that you will have children afterwards. And he didn't believe there could be a blessing with a guarantee, but the Rebbe said, yes, I guarantee. And, but how, he asked the Rebbe, how will I know that she forgives me? Because you'll tell her that what, if she forgives you with her whole heart, she will immediately meet her bashert, the one who she's supposed to marry and have children from him. And that's what happened. She forgave him with her whole heart, and then she met her husband. For as long as she was hurt, she had an argument that this man hurt her and he shouldn't be able to have any children because he violated her so badly. But at the same time, because she was angry and was holding on to him, she could not find her own place. And so emotions are that powerful. And you can only affect a person if that other person has hurt you. And that's the secret of the evil eye. The evil eye can only work if you've been jilted. If the other person who has something has shown it in your face and flaunted it. And then the person can have an effect. But if the person hasn't hurt you, then there is no evil eye. So if I, since I haven't hurt any of you, I haven't wanted to hurt any one of you, you have no way to have an evil eye over me. But let's get back to this concept of that at every word of God, the people of Israel died. The idea behind it is, is that God showed us love when God gave us the Ten Commandments. When somebody shows you love, you have to reciprocate in love. Emotions are that powerful. When somebody shows you love, then you have to, you're attracted to that love and you show love back. And the love was so powerful that they couldn't hold out because the body can only take a certain amount of love. Just as the body can only take a certain amount of pain, the body can't take more than a certain measure of love. And the love that God showed was infinite. And so we were being pulled to God. And that's what the Torah is telling us. God wanted that the Ten Commandments should be given out of love, but that we should learn how to keep this love within ourselves, to be able to contain this love. How can you contain the love? You can contain it through the words of Moses because the Torah was given to Moses and through Moses' words, through the Torah, we receive that love but it's in a case and we get it little by little so that we can grasp it from time to time a little more and a little more and a little more till we're able to get the full measure of the love. But if the love is uncovered, then we wouldn't be able to take it. And so God wanted to show us that this love that God has for us, he put into the Torah so that through the Torah we'll be able to receive this love. And that's the secret of human relations. The secret of human relations is love. And if you hurt somebody that you love, who loves you, there could be problems. And so 
We have to be especially careful. That's why the Torah tells us to honor parents so much because of the love that exists between us.